On to fertilizer and lime use, Ben. What do we need to put in here? And I guess a wee bit about why? Yeah. So coming down on this first tab, we have fertilizer and lime. So these two points of uh, emissions, there's from the limestone and dolomite you can see here at the bottom, and then there's also the nitrogen-based fertilizers, which emit ni uh, nitrogen, ah, uh, Nitrous, nitrous oxide. oxide. Nitrous, nitrous oxide. oxide. Nitrous oxide. So there's three categories there. You've got your uh, non urea nitrogen um, based fertilizers. So they are your things like your crop masters, those yep. sorts of things. Your urea without urease inhibitor, and then urea with urease inhibitor. So these all have different emission factors, and so we need to be able to split these up. Now, the, the co a common resource for this is that the two large um, fertiliser suppliers in May supply their clients with a summary report. And that summary report will have all the products in there. And also at the bottom, there'll be a breakdown of the NPKS, the nitrogen, phosphate, potassium and sulphur um, as a total summary, but not as broken up by these th three categories. We need the elemental nitrogen weight. So we have put together, or Aaron's put together, a resource um, with the help of the economic service team of the elemental weights of a variety of products. There's over, I think, 400 different fertilizers that we, <laughs> that we know yeah. of. So we put in the most uh, commonly used ones, but by law, your fertilizer um, supplier has to supply you with the MPKS uh, breakdown. So that'll be available on your invoice or potentially through the website or through your agent. Yep. So the key here is we're not interested in your typical superphosphate, sulfur supers, it's just the ones containing nitrogen. But the other key is we don't want to know the total amount, it's just the N content. So if you've got a tonne of urea, that's 460 kilograms of elemental N. So you, that's the process, the, the conversion people need to carry out on that summary. Yep, it's simply that, uh, say, using that 46%, that 1,000 times 0.46, and then it's converted, and you can enter that straight into here. Okay. So you'll see we've done an example summary for our case study farm and, and done the demonstrated the calculation of working out the amount of nitrogen, and Ben's just going to tap that in there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's actually self-fulfilling because I've been through this case study to make sure it all works. So. Why, um, just while you're doing that, Ben, why are limestone and dolomite in there? I mean, obviously nitrogen, nitrous oxide, but what's the, the uh, greenhouse gas effect of limestone and dolomite? My understanding is it's a CO2 uh, emission coming okay. from there. Cool. Um, uh, the beauty of um, beef and lamb developing this tool, and for the purpose of meeting the uh, Hiwaki Kanoa, is that we can... Um, as Hiwaki Kanoa evolves and um, sort of becomes a bit more concrete on what's in, what's out and what the rules are, we can tailor this tool to meet that because this is the purpose of doing it and this is to serve farmers so they have a tool to, to meet their Hiwaki Kanoa requirements without necessarily needing to go pay for more resources. And so limestone and dolomite is just total amount applied, no conversion there, but as you see, yeah, fertiliser, convert it, work out the elemental N and that's all you have to do on fertiliser. Done.